God. Oh my God. Tears of relief as the Lawrence family learns that their loved one is coming home. Syed Jamal, a father of three, was arrested by immigration officers in his front yard last month as he was walking his daughter to school. He was just granted a stay, but his future is still uncertain. We have in-depth coverage tonight at 5. Caroline Sweeney is in Lawrence where a walk is underway to support Jamal. We'll check in with her in just a moment, but first, Rudy Harper is in Kansas City, Missouri as his family awaits his return. Rudy? Brad Ellen, you're right. The future is still uncertain. This afternoon, Jamal was flown to El Paso, Texas, and we know tonight that an immigration judge here in downtown Kansas City granted him a temporary stay, but that may not hold. Every day he's asking, when is my dad coming? The three children and the wife of a Lawrence man detained by ICE agents is speaking out. Terrible. I can't sleep at night. I'm awake all the, all the night. Every day, he's not there. The missing link to their family, Syed Jamal from Bangladesh, now in an El Paso, Texas jail. His family says he's been in the United States more than 30 years, and he doesn't know a soul in the country he was born. Well, I just want him to know that we're trying to stay strong, and we're doing everything we can to get him back. Today, new developments in the deportation saga. Jamal's attorney says a Kansas City immigration judge granted a 10-day stay on his extradition. Jamal's attorney says the merits of the motion will be reviewed by the judge once the Department of Homeland Security responds. Meanwhile, his family hoping he's returned to the KC area to find out his fate. My mom said it felt like there was nothing to stand on and I was going to fall over, but it also hurts to know that there's no one really to blame for this at this point. It's just our policies, and I just hope that people who can change those do really see how much it can hurt a family. Mm, Jamal's attorney says he has no criminal record and in fact has a work permit. The family says they do not blame anyone. They just blame immigration policies in the United States. Live in downtown, Rudy Harper, KCTV 5 News. Continues our in-depth coverage from Lawrence, where there is a large showing of support for the Jamal family. Caroline? Well, Brad, that walk for Syed Jamal and his family is currently underway. You can actually see them walking right down the street here in Lawrence. They are on their way to Massachusetts Street. Now, dozens of people have come out to make signs and really show support and how, for how important this man, the teacher and active parent is to the Lawrence community. This is the definition of a groundswell. You can just see all of these people lining the sidewalk. So for now, Syed is still in the U.S. He is in Texas, but he is in the country, and that is the important part for all of these people. This march is now a celebration because of that stay that was issued earlier today, and organizers here have something to say about that important moment. We're encouraging people to write thank you letters to our representatives. Um, Emmanuel Cleaver and Lynn Jenkins and Kevin Yoder have all been critical in helping get the stay, and we're urging them to continue the fight um, to, to get DHS to open the case. Now, a lot of the signs that you're going to see here and some of the conversations we've been hearing are still very much a call to action. And that's because the fight for Syed Jamal to come home is not over yet. His family got the call this morning that they had been waiting for, but they still have a long way to go. Now, coming up on KCTV 5 News at 6 o'clock, hear that emotional phone call. Live in Lawrence, Caroline Sweeney, KCTV 5 News. Thanks, Caroline. And for our previous coverage on this story, download our KCTV5 News app. It is free on the App Store and Google Play.